The AutoCAD has been the staple of CAD for 30 years. If God didn't build it, most likely one of our customers did. And it's just kind of amazing to kind of walk down the street and see the impact that AutoCAD has had on the world. From the buildings on the street, to the street itself, to the pipes underneath it. It's amazing how deep you can go. It's like every layer you peel from the onion, you can see another layer of our customers in the infrastructure somewhere. There's a large R&D team that's dedicated to AutoCAD that is constantly looking at ways to make this product more innovative, to make it work better for our customers, and to continue to serve the next generation of, of users. Our innovation is, is to bring that technology into a seamless way into AutoCAD. Make sure that you can leverage that forever into the future. Customize it into the right direction. Repurpose it for another project. We're really trying to get at uh, what the customer really needs, and instead of building out new features just because we want new features, something that's going to look good on the new release, uh, what do they really want? And when I hear customers talking about other products that frankly don't have such standards, you know, I ask them, what is your drawing worth to you? Well, the AutoCAD team is uh, probably the smartest people I've ever, I've ever known, and, and uh, I work with my heroes every day. I think the team is really dedicated to the product. They really have a direct connection to the customer. They feel like they owe them a great experience. Some people talk about they think in AutoCAD. AutoCAD is their language of design. And so we need to just let them focus on their complex design problem and let the software get out of the way. So we're working on having the core of AutoCAD running everywhere so that you can run AutoCAD on a server, you can run AutoCAD on mobile, and you can run AutoCAD on tablets and on your desktop. And it's the actual AutoCAD. It's not something that is written to be like AutoCAD. It is the AutoCAD is running. In order to really understand the AutoCAD experience, we do a lot of customer research. Sometimes you'll get very strong feedback of what you need to work on. And, you know, and I'll take that back with first-hand knowledge. When we see people struggling, we have another perspective on it, maybe how to fix it. It's a build, measure, learn cycle where we actually build the product, measure how the customer likes it, learn from that experience, and build the next version. It's more about what is the user trying to do from start to finish and how can we help them through that process. And on top of that, many of our users do a ton of customization to create an AutoCAD that works exactly the way they want to work. As they do, when they log into another computer, they'll pull that down uh, in a sort of connected experience reflecting all those customizations on any workstation that they want. It can match the way that they think, the way that they solve problems. It gives them the freedom to solve it their way. It's reflected also in the way you buy AutoCAD. So you can buy it on an individual basis for a limited period of time. If you have a project that you know, needs 10 people all at once, you can, you can burst up to that level. I'm really inspired about what our customers are doing. We actually have an entire gallery downstairs of cool stuff that our customers have built. I'll come meet on the Bay Bridge and I'll realize, hey, this was done in AutoCAD, and it reinvigorates you and you figure, you know, there are 10 million people working on the product that I'm working on every day to create things like that. And the customers that we work with that have been using AutoCAD on projects like this for 30 years, they have this relationship with AutoCAD that is so unique. And it's, I think that's amazing. I don't know many products that are like that.